G'day guys, episode five of the JPS video log. And today I am driving down to our Port Melbourne facility. We're gonna do some training with the one and only, my man, Matt Bartholomew. Uh, he's got a photo shoot with ADPD Studios and I'm gonna be training some posterior chain in the background, keeping my uh, dad bod to myself. And today I'm gonna to talk uh, with Matt about the 10 biggest mistakes we made when we started our lifting career and hopefully uh, give you guys some insight and some advice to guide you and steer you away from making the same mistakes that we did. So guys, I'm about to pick Matty up now. I'll speak to you shortly. Let's get some. Oh yeah. Here he is, big fella. Hey man. Dude, I'm wrecked. You would be wrecked, I can imagine. <laughs> what do you got on today? Um, I'll just get moving again, I think. I'll pretty much run through some upper body stuff because I did a bit of front squatting yesterday. Get a bit of pump on. Then Alvin and I went to the, the gym down the road. Yeah. And did like a, a massive leg session. Like it was huge. I was like, mad man. I was like, what am I doing? But no, it was alright. And doing some photo shoot with Alvin today? Yeah, do some shooting with Alvin. Um, yesterday we kind of did like awesome front squats. Um, just some kettlebell swings, jumping lunges, leg extensions. Um, they look pretty cool. He's a good. He's a good videographer, man. He's very good. Very yeah. good. So today will be a bit more of that. A bit of fun, but a different vibe. I feel. JPS Port Melbourne. Just constantly throwing things around. This this lad. Look out. Welcome, Matthew. Oh. The boys are here. Big Cheech. Big Mike. The boys are training. This is Maddie. Frank's practicing. Welcome guys to episode five of the JPS video log. And I'm very fortunate to have a special guest with me today, Mr. Matthew Bartholomew. And he came to our JPS Port Melbourne studio to train with me and get some footage of a session um, with ADPD Studios. And today we're gonna to talk about some mistakes that we made uh, early on in our lifting career that we hope to pass on to you so that you can learn from them and ensure that you don't make those same mistakes in your training to fast track your progress. So, as you watch uh, some footage of our session and the day that we had, I'm gonna be talking about the mistakes that I made in my lifting career at a very uh, early stage. So, the first mistake that I made was always trying to get lean. I never spent a significant amount of time in a calorie surplus and really missed out on those opportunities uh, to make beginner gains and to capitalize on the progress that we, can see, we see beginners make early in their training career. I was very fixated on getting leaner, being in a calorie deficit, and always extremely body conscious. And I feel this really uh, prevented me from progressing in my training, and you know, it forced me in a position to you know, then have to go back and learn from scratch in terms of how to build muscle. And I think from an early stage, it's extremely important to learn the fundamental principles of muscle growth calorie surplus, progressive overload in training, you know, an emphasis on training volume and good techniques, some things that we're gonna talk about uh, in the other mistakes that I made. The second mistake that I made early in my training career was always training to failure. I, as I mentioned, I did not understand exercise principles such as progressive overload, and I felt as though if I wasn't hitting failure, I wasn't working hard enough. And through research and learning uh, the intricacies of training and biomechanics and physiology, I now know that training to failure is something that should be done uh, very rarely in a training program, especially uh, if you're looking for long-term progress. So I recommend uh, to all of you that you ensure that very few exercises uh, at very select times within your training program you train to momentary muscular failure. Not only is this extremely uh, taxing mentally, but it accumulates a lot of fatigue, which really inhibits your performance in the gym 
as well as leading to burnout and, as I mentioned, fatigue. One of the other mistakes that I made, so the third mistake was adopting a very dichotomous uh, thought process towards food. I always thought food to be good and bad and that there were only certain foods that I could eat to achieve my body composition goals. And as a result, I restricted a lot of foods, namely carbohydrates. And as a result, I developed a really unhealthy relationship with food. And this is something that I spend a lot of time uh, working on with my clients is ensuring that they do not see food as good and bad and understanding that the body recognizes energy in the form of calories, uh, macronutrients, and it doesn't discriminate whether or not a food is good or bad. And it's very context dependent. So that was the third mistake that I made. The fourth mistake was not understanding uh, proper technique and range of motion. So like all young men, I used to grab the heaviest weight that I could. I used to move it up and down with all my might. And as a result, the range of motion that I would uh, perform an exercise through was very limited. And what this does is not only does it overload the joints, but it fails to fully stimulate the target muscle group, which in essence reduces the stimulus on the muscle. And ultimately, you build less muscle and strength over time. So technique and range of motion, as you can now see, uh, in these clips is something that is extremely important in my program and I will not overload my program um, unless I can perform the movement with good technique and range of motion. One of the other mistakes that I made was training each muscle group only once a week. So the training frequency um, of a muscle group was the typical bro split and as a result I didn't maximize the amount of growth and gains I could make because I didn't understand how important it is to train each muscle group multiple times a week. So something I recommend uh, you do if you are training a muscle group only once a week is split that volume into two sessions. For example, if you're doing 10 sets um, on a chest movement on a Monday, splitting that up into five sets on a Monday and a Thursday. And not only did this help my recovery and my performance, but it allowed me to uh, progress a lot better because I wasn't performing so much work in one single session where I couldn't quantify um, the magnitude of change that was occurring from session to session. Another mistake that I made was always aiming for perfection and taking a very dogmatic, all or nothing approach to everything I did. If I missed a session, it was the end of the world. If I had a meal out, it was, you know, I was fat and that I was not going to achieve my goals. Over time, I've learned that it's really important not to focus on a single meal or a single day and to instead look at the big picture and focus on what you're doing over time and doing the right thing more consistently than not. You know, if you miss a session, um, it's not the end of the world. You can add a session in at another time. And this has been another thing that I really feel uh, most beginners miss out on. So I hope that has uh, given you an insight, guys, as to the mistakes I've made in my training. We're walking to the beach now for a bit of recovery after our session. Maddie was a bit beat up after his powerlifting meet on Sunday. And if you found this video informative, please like it. Comment with any thoughts you had on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And Matt is going to wrap up this video with three mistakes that he's made in his lifting career. Thanks for listening, guys, and I'll speak to you all next time. I'm Jacob Skepis. Thanks for listening.
Thank you. Paul's one of the mistakes you made when you started training. One mistake, but I think it was a blessing in disguise. Was when I started, I was very selective about the types of food I was eating. So in high school, it was chicken and broccoli. That was pretty much it. But from a physical standpoint, it didn't make any sense. From a mental standpoint, it was 100% commitment. So it was a mistake, but it told me that I was committed to the course. So yeah, awesome. Thanks, buddy. Sorry. Oh, all right. So another mistake in, in a bit of a curveball. It was. Probably the, the concept that at one stage I wasn't appreciating the mistakes were actually part of the process, a crucial part of the process to make progress and to learn from things because in my opinion those are the best in their field have made all the body mistakes and they've learned from it and they're now teaching others how not to make those mistakes. So that was one of my biggest mistakes, not appreciating those things. So what are some mistakes you've made in your journey that you've learned from? Um, I think one of, my, one of my biggest things that it wasn't so much a mistake you know, in, in my training or, or in the process of anything physical but um, I've been a PT for a few years now and I've only really had social media for the last couple of years and it took me a lot of time to begin to spread what I was doing out to the masses so to speak so I was a little bit you know scared to do that for a few reasons um, you know throughout school I saw that social media was used for a lot of vanity and and for me I didn't want that to be how I came across or what I became so uh, that was a mistake for me not actually going outside of my comfort zone and impacting other people with you know what I would perceive as the positivity that I have and the ambitious side of me. Um, so yeah, and some, someone that influenced me there was my current girlfriend, Vanessa. Um, she pretty much told me to make a social media account because she saw what I was doing was helping people in my, in my close circle, but she saw that maybe it will be able to help people outside of that. So I better thank her for that. Awesome, man. Yeah. Thank you.